All right, so you may have heard that Google removed placement targeting from YouTube ad campaigns, and people have been talking about this for a while, um, but I wanna tell you that that is not the case, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get around that. There's actually two specific methods that we've been using, and we've been getting amazing results. So uh, as you can see, this is like a normal campaign setup right here, and it says, you know, content targeting is basically keywords, topics, and placements. Now, topics kinda sucked from what I know, but keywords and placements worked extremely well. And you can't set those up in normal video campaigns anymore, but actually you can. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. So uh, there's two different ways that you can do that. And first I wanna just cover what exactly placement targeting is. So let's say, uh, you know, you wanna know is solar worth it or something like that somebody these are like buying keywords right so essentially we've got these videos that show up right here and i can click on this and thinking about going go. solar like, like right here this is a phenomenal example um somebody goes to watch a video hey is solar worth it should i put solar on my home and this ad shows up and saying hey is solar worth it hey are you thinking about going solar well check this out right so this specific ad is literally hitting somebody at the exact moment they're searching for is solar worth it, right? So um, it, it's pretty cool that you can do that. And that, that's why placement targeting was so powerful or is so, so powerful because you can literally put your video ad in front of a specific video that you know your audience is going to be, um, like somebody that would buy from you is going to be watching, right? So. That being said, um, you could basically go through and, you know, we could go to YouTube and do the search, right? So, that, I mean, we could, we could find them, like, is solar worth it, right? So, essentially, what you would do is you go through and, and pull all these videos, right? So, um, I'm just going to show you with, with TubeSift right here. So, you can go, is solar worth it? Um, and we could do a quick search. We can choose up to whatever, like 300 videos. So let's just go 10 for now. We'll do a search. Now, as you can see, boom, we're, we're pulling all of these videos up right here. These are all the monetized videos, which means you can put an ad in front of them. So we used to be able to just take these video links and be like, hey, Google, put my ad in front of these videos when I want them to, uh, when I want to do that, right? So let me just copy these URLs here. Normally we'd have to go, you know, the manual way, copy, paste, all that kind of stuff. So that being said, you used to just be able to paste it here in your campaign setup. That is not a thing anymore. So now what you have to do is you go create a campaign, you go new campaign, and this is this is way number one. This works really, really well. Create a campaign without a goals guidance. Now, all that they did was remove it from any of these things, right? Uh, except for campaigns without a goals guidance, and then you're gonna go video campaign, and you're just gonna go get views. Now, the only difference, uh, this is basically when you're setting a campaign up this way, um, this is basically how YouTube ads used to be. So you go over here and you don't get to choose which campaign goal you want Google to optimize for. So you set this up the exact same way. You know, I want to do the daily budget, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can actually turn off video partners on the display network, which you should definitely do. Um, set everything up exactly the same. And you come down here and content targeting is still right here. And you go placements and you just go enter and you literally just paste all those videos here. Now, if we were targeting a, you know, we're doing a solar ad like that guy, literally all we would have to do is put all these in here and then Google it and tell them add to the placements. Now, anytime anybody watches one of these videos, our ad is still gonna be shown. Now, the cool thing about this is when you set up your ad the normal way, right? Um, you can paste your video ad here. I'm just gonna, I'll throw a random video in here, whatever this is. And uh, we go skippable in-stream ad and boom. It, it's literally like setting up the exact same ad. Uh, you can add calls to action, tracking template, like literally everything. Um, you can even use a different final URL for mobile, which is really cool. Um, you know, you, you, could, you could literally put your mobile friendly website here, which is awesome, right? Um, companion banner, obviously you wanna use that. So, so everything's exactly the same. And then we have our ads right here, right? You can set up all your ads exactly the same way. Um, the only difference is you're gonna bid max CPV instead of like target CPA and instead of uh, maximize conversions, right? You're still gonna be able to track conversions. Everything's gonna be the same and you can still use placement targeting that way. So that's one way to do this. The only catch with this is you are going to have to manually go in, just like we used to have to do. It's really not a big deal. Um, we did this for years and years. Um, 
you're just gonna have to manually go in and say, see, hey, where were my videos shown or where was my ad shown? And you'll see every single placement you put in there and it will show you exactly which of those videos led to conversions and which didn't. And if one's not leading to a conversion, you're gonna wanna pause that. So you just have to manually optimize your campaign not a big deal at all. This still works extremely well, um, and that's a great way to do this. Now, the other way <coughs> to go ahead and do this, uh, and let me just show you something real quick. Uh, in here, if we go to Tools and Settings, and we go to our Audience Manager. This is our Audience Manager, and we can come over here to Custom Segments, and you can click this little plus button right here, and you can create a custom segment. So you can actually go people who browse types of websites. Now, guess what YouTube is? It's a website. So, um, we, we and I'll, I just have this here, I wanna show you this. So basically, we were confirming right here, um, when we're creating these custom segments, we asked uh, our Google rep, hey, when we create these segments, if we put youtube.com in for one audience and put youtube.com video ID in for another, will they create two separate audiences or are they the same? And our Google rep said, it's going to prepare the similar audience based on the, res the visitors of the final URL. So that being said, if you want an audience of people visiting these websites or like, you know, these specific YouTube videos, you can create that, right? So that being said, we just paste our YouTube video URLs right here and we can say like, is solar worth it placements? And we literally save this. Um, and you can see this is obviously this is like YouTube topics, but this is going to create I've had a lot of students doing this, and <clears throat> this is going to create an audience of people that are watching these videos, and it's gonna expand it slightly, but for the most part, your, number one, your ad is going to be shown in front of these videos. We've seen that happen in where our ads are shown. They're literally being shown in front of these videos when you do this, and then also, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get other videos about solar, right? So it's gonna expand that for you as well, which is really cool. So we can save that. Um, obviously these go under review now, which is kind of a kind of stupid, but what, I mean, it makes sense, but yeah. So that, that goes under review and then all you do is you can create a new campaign and then let's say we wanna go for sales. You can actually have Google manually optimize this for you. We'll go video campaign, blah 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 and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to your audience you're gonna add your audience here and you are going to search for where well, we create a new audience over here and you we've got our custom segments right in here we can browse these and um or sorry we can search the ones we have we can browse them whatever um, but these are our custom segments you can come over here we can look at all of these things and i called it um what was it um I'll just search for it. It was um, placements, I believe. Um, do, 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 do. Video placements, tube sift. Anyway, it'll show up here, right? So uh, it, it's under review right now, but you can also add a new segment here and you can go, you can do this here as well. Um, and we could literally just paste these URLs here. Um, solar worth it placements, we can save that, and boom. Now we literally have all of our placements here. You name this audience, you throw your demographics, you know, where do you, you know, all that kind of stuff. Would you wanna exclude any of your remarketing list? Um, you know, gender, household income, parental status, all that good stuff. Save that, set up your ad exactly the same as you would, and then boom, you are good to go and you can still use placements. Now, um, the fastest and easiest way to get placements, obviously, is still with TubeSift, right? So we've always got TubeSift here, uh, tubesift.com, I'll actually link to it as well uh, under this, but you can always use TubeSift to um, you know, knock this out of the park and very quickly and easily pull massive lists of placements. Um, you know, if you can throw like a hundred or so videos in one of those custom segments, it's gonna work really well. Uh, and same thing when you're using campaigns with no goal. If you can throw 200, 300 placements in one of your campaigns, you're gonna get a lot more traffic. So the more placements you put in, specifically with those campaigns without a goal, um, the better you are going to be. Uh, and the cool thing is, you know, placements, they don't scale extremely well, but they're hyper-targeted and you will get very cheap conversions. And because 
you are able to use a pixel with no goal. So it'll still report. It still trains your pixel. You were able to train your pixel extremely easily using placement targeting. And then you can go into create a new campaign. You don't even have to put a bunch of targeting in once you get some conversions and you can essentially train your pixel for the right people using placement targeting, which is really cool. Now, one other thing that I want to show you since we're here, um, in the tools and settings audience manager, you can also create custom segments the exact same way of people who searched any, or sorry, uh, people who browse websites, right? Uh, and this that you can actually do keywords in here. So you can actually put your keywords here as well. Uh, and TubeSift does have a keyword tool. So you can come over here, you can get all the Google keywords, um, all that good stuff. So you can still use content targeting that way as well. And then you can also use it in campaigns without a goal. But Another cool thing is you can actually build retargeting lists of people who have visited specific websites. So let's say I want to, I can go over here to site search. Now you can go to Google and do this as well, but um, you know, I actually did a search for uh, are solar panels worth it or is solar worth it? Here are all of the results for uh, are solar panels worth it, right? So you can literally just take these domains here. You're gonna wanna get the actual URLs. You're gonna copy these. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paste these URLs right here and boom, we are gonna make a custom segment that's gonna allow us to retarget all of the people that are visiting any of these websites, which is extremely cool. It takes a while to populate these because I put a bunch of websites in. But that's one other way that you can use these custom segments. And I just wanted to toss that out there as a bonus. So like I said, uh, TubeSift will help you pull all of these websites, all of your keywords and all of your video placements and content targeting is still alive and well in 2023 and 2024. We're getting, we're closing in on 2024. Um, but my Google rep told me these are not going anywhere. You'll still be able to do this. Um, so, so it didn't actually go anywhere. It just moved the way that you implement it changed slightly. And I hope this video shed some light on exactly how you can go about utilizing content targeting and still get away with uh, placements and keywords. And then also these custom audiences, which is basically like retargeting anybody's website. So that's it for me on this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed this training. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.